breaking news about everyone's favorite, the Princess of Wales. Hello, dear viewer. If you want to be the first to know about events in the world, subscribe to our channel and don't stop following us. Pause for a moment and behold this sensational tale. Kate Middleton. Well, she's certainly not deceased. Her images and photos. Pure Photoshop and the videos. Utterly counterfeit. Here's a headline that detonates your intellect and compels action, right? Behold in her video address, Kate Middleton earnestly requested one vital thing, to grant her and her family some peace. This weary Princess of Wales desired to confront her daunting illness in solitude. Yet, for reasons unknown, her plea for mercy failed to resonate with the audience. What's amiss here? Let's delve deeper. For an extended period, people awaited a sign of life from Middleton. Speculations abounded regarding her whereabouts and her prolonged silence, shunning royal duties. Some even endeavored to capture her in hospitals, parks, or cars. Then, on March 22nd, the Princess of Wales decided to quash these rumors and conjectures. She personally dispelled all myths surrounding her demise. Reclining on a garden bench, a pale and emaciated Kate made a declaration that sent shockwaves. She indeed had cancer. She confessed that the disease was detected following a complex abdominal surgery. Kate's video admission about her cancer sparked new conspiracy theories. Why isn't the prince by her side in the video? Some began to inquire, suspecting the video to be a sham and that Kate had long passed away. Many even doubt that Kate Middleton is still alive. Some users demonstrated how easily forgeries could be crafted using neural networks. Enter Christopher Boozy, the American Eight prodigy. He contends that the palaces in Buckingham and Kensington rival even North Korea in terms of secrecy. The creator of a social media fake detection program is convinced the recent photos of 42-year-old Kate Middleton are not mere Photoshop edits, but a cunning fake. Kate Middleton, renowned for her thriftiness even before becoming the Princess of Wales, has often been spotted donning attire from her previous wardrobe. This photograph attests to her modesty. You muck slash Getty images. Professor Jonathan Reiner of George Washington University expressed skepticism about the video featuring Kate Middleton. He asserts that while Kate appears genuine in the footage, her words do not reflect reality. According to him, extensive tests are conducted before major surgeries. Therefore, if Middleton had been diagnosed with cancer, it would have occurred well before her hospitalization in January. The clinic director confirmed the disappearance of data from Kate's medical records, suggesting she might have preferred to remain silent, leaving room for speculation. While the public debates these events, many have overlooked the cancer diagnosis of another royal family member, King Charles Ayo. He has undoubtedly been a pillar of support for the Princess of Wales. Earlier this year, both were patients at a London clinic where the king underwent surgery for a benign prostate tumor. Media reports indicate that King Charles Aiai, clad in a hospital gown, repeatedly visited Kate, whose ward was on a different floor. Sources close to the royal family claim that it was the king's support that encouraged Kate to make a public statement. The text of the address, reportedly, was penned by Kate herself without the intervention of advisors or the press service. Before Charles Aiai's reign, open admissions in the British monarchy were rare, for instance, the lung cancer that claimed the life of Elizabeth I's father, George Vi, was kept secret until the end, with the king himself convinced of the possibility of recovery. Regarding immediate plans, William took Kate and the children for an Easter break to Anmer Hall in Norfolk, preferring to avoid the limelight. Journalists report that the family left Windsor by helicopter on March 23rd and may miss the traditional Easter service at Street George's Chapel. British tabloids, citing anonymous sources, claim that Prince Harry, upon seeing Kate's confession video, decided to support his brother by calling him. He and Meghan Markle learned of Middleton's illness from the video, as Kate does not trust them and fears information leaks. But what really happened to Kate? The Daily Mail compares her situation to that of Maya Kennedy, 
who was found to have a bowel tumor after an examination. The surgeon removed the tumor and the biopsy revealed it was malignant, but fortunately, it was early stage cancer and chemotherapy was not required. In Middleton's case, her condition is more serious, necessitating chemotherapy, possibly more than one course.